Hey everybody, welcome back. So, it is freezing out today. I got my uh, leather jacket on I found at a thrift sale the other week. This thing has been doing great. It's been doing really good, actually. <laughs> but yeah, I started a fire over there uh, a little bit ago. But we have a big unboxing today. So I'm in the yard right now. But I think it's like 15 out. Oh, and just to get out of the way, my fingers and my hands are super dirty because I just got done being in the mud over there, making a fire and stuff. So, try to ignore that. <laughs> but, this huge box was sent from a pocket box. And if you don't know who they are, it's pretty much a subscription box for everyday carry, outdoor, camping, uh, water purifying, you know, anything outdoors, bushcraft, anything like that. And look what we got, guys. We got a giant box of them. We got four to be exact. We have three that I do not know exactly what they are, but they go month by month, you know. Sometimes a month gets skipped and there's another one. So there's three big ones. There's a red one, a brown one, and a black one. And then this one here, this one is the everyday carry box. So this one's a lot smaller compared to those ones. Like you can kind of see that. But it's a... Uh, Nice little box. And you know, before I've had subscription boxes, these boxes come in really handy uh, after you're done taking stuff out of them. So we're gonna go through, there's all kinds of stuff in these. I have no clue, I didn't look. Uh, I know a lot of the times there's something that it's like a challenge for you, you have to do, like you have to build something or a part to something. So these boxes are super cool. There's gonna be a link below. Uh, they sent these to me to uh, check them out and see how they are. So. I'm going to go ahead over here to the ground and place our grate down. Over there's the Amish school. But I'm going to place the grate down and uh, we're going to review these. So I'm pretty excited. We're going to have to go, you know, a little fast over them because uh, we have to get through all of them. Not make it too long, but yeah, I'll be a little fast. I was going to do a couple of videos on it, but I thought it'd be cool just to have them all in like this big unboxing video. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Can't wait. Okay guys, so the first one I decided to go into, I really wish there was a way to have it angled to where it was me and this, but uh, out here there's just no way to really, really do that so you could see everything. So here I have my fan scent Puma knife, so I'm going to use today. I'm going to have my gloves on the side here, and uh, I'll be able to set stuff on them. But here is our knife. Oh my gosh, it's cold out. But here's the EDC box, a lot of you guys know that. Uh, I'm going to do an EDC video soon. So probably some of this stuff will be in like an EDC uh, bag I have. So we're going to open it up, get right into it. I'm going to go kind of fast, uh, faster than like I did other ones because there's four of them. But still, we're going to check it out. So once you have the box open, here's what you have. So if this says the stuff that's in it, I'm not going to, okay. I know a lot of uh, you know boxes put what's in the box on these lists here. But I kind of want to uh, keep this, and then I'll read it off at the end really quick. Because I think it kind of spoils it, really. So, wow, that's cool. I can kind of already see what this is. It's a foraging bandana right there, and I see, like, plants on it. So, it says, uh, field uses, oh, 12 field uses for a bandana while foraging. 12 processing icons indicated on individual parts. 12 North American resource, 11 plants, 2 fungus. Let me set this down a second. And a couple other things on it. But pretty much, it's a really nice quality. I can feel it. It's good quality. It's a bandana. And if you look on there, we got all kinds of wild forageables. And wow, that's pretty cool. Now, I don't have a bandana yet. So this would be cool to set on my table uh, while I'm not in the woods for... A backdrop here so if you look on there we got all kinds of plants there's cattails and there's all kinds so that will come in handy and like I said I could use it for multiple uses you know these look like common ones uh, on here so if you don't know like you know common uh, forageables or anything that would be helpful and that's kind of really cool looking so all right here is piece of something I don't think it's leather is it might be um one second oh there's a lot in here 
Uh, I gotta try to find... Oh, okay, so I know what it's for. Right here, it's a make your own leather EDC valet tray. So, pretty much it looks like it comes with little... Yeah, it comes with like little pieces to tie it. And you can see it, take, it makes a tray. So, when you get those, you fold these corners and it turns into a tray. So, I'll probably use this inside of my hot tent. So that'd be super cool. Maybe I'll do another video on making the stuff that comes in these. So, oh, okay. So, workshop free micro tool. As a thanks for choosing Grim Workshop, we would like to offer you a coupon for one free micro tool of your choice. So there's a card here for that. And next up, I'm sure we'll find out what that's for. This is the screw pop. It's a mini screwdriver goes on a keychain or a car keychain and it looks like it fits any bit that you want to fit in it so that looks pretty handy I know there's a lot of times that uh, I need a screwdriver and I know for sure we have like a whole box of just the you know the bits but there's no screwdriver I mean there is one but it just has regular Phillips on it so there's another add in here Wazoo survival gear 20% off your next order so that's cool. So they don't blow away, I'm gonna keep them in here. Uh, Parapocalypse EDC Implementation Kit. Sorry, I stuttered there. Uh, it looks like, what do we got here? Oh, we got all kinds of clips and stuff. I'm sure it's, uh, yeah, I can see them in there. There's all kinds of little clips and buckles that you can use if you need to repair something or if you just wanna have this in your EDC to, uh, you know, just in case. There's zippers, there's all kinds. So that's cool. I would go a lot slower, but there's a couple of boxes to go through, like I said. So next up, we have the Maglite Solitaire Light. It's a 20 meter distance, it's a pocket light. I just got the uh, O-Light um, light, so I'll have to compare these two. Because I really do enjoy that little O-Light. But yeah, this is cool. It takes double L, or not double L, triple A. So, it fits right on your keychain. That's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have a UST Micro Spark Wheel Fire Starter. So I know uh, UST is Walmart's brand. I'm pretty, or it is, I don't think it's Walmart's, but they always have this at Walmart in like the cheaper section of camping. And I know they kind of get a bad name, but honestly, guys, I've had some pretty useful stuff from UST. So this will definitely have to be one to try. Actually, I'll probably use this in the wood stove as well. And uh, in the bottom here, they just have you know some ripped up newspaper. But here is Parapocalypse Ultimate Survival Cord, 25 foot of it, and it is a 625 pound test, holy cow. And there's 11 lines of one. So I have seen this before actually. It wasn't this brand that I seen, but the other brand I seen, pretty much it comes with, I mean I can read it here. Waxed Jute Kevlar Dyna-X 10 pound monofill uh, fishing line and Paracord. So. Yeah, it has everything in it, so if you're in a bad situation, you can cut it open and get it out. Next up, we have our, is this a little holder? Yeah, we got like a little capsule holder if you want to hold stuff. If you have anything you need to hold, something small like that. And it says, not if, but when. I'm pretty sure that is Creek's uh, saying, the owner of the company. But yeah, just a nice little keychain holder there. And uh, lastly in here, oh, actually there's two, one more thing. By the way, guys, this is the cord that goes on the little valet tray. But we have a fishing hook. It's like a little keychain, and there's two fishing hooks on it, heavy duty. And you can break them out, and you can use them on your fishing line. So that's cool. And last in this box, we have Creek's EDC Lip and Firebomb. It is peppermint. So that's a cool little add-in. You know, I don't know if it's going to be in your EDC bag, but I'm sure I'm going to use it after this video because my lips are cracked. So we'll get to our next box. Okay guys, so we're on the next box. If there's any cuts, just keep in mind it's because I have to like walk up or walk around and stretch. Because I am crouching here. But here's the next box. I know I shouldn't be using gloves when using a knife like that, but hey, I can't feel my hands. So here's our next box. Now I have no clue what's in here once again, and I do not know which month it is, so we're gonna look at that. Uh, this is, oh okay, a couple things. 
Stacy Lynn's this is the first thing we're doing. Stacy Lynn's handbook, preserving 101, canning, freezing, and drying. So volume number one. Nice little cookbook. Actually, guys, I'm not even kidding. I was going to start doing canning videos sometime here. So next up we have it says the tobacco hawk. And oh, this is the the skill, you know, the challenge for this box. You have to what do you have to? I think you have to put it together actually. We'll get to that in a minute. I want to show this stuff first. All right, once again we have UST. Uh, you dig it, lighty? Or it's not light. This was glimmering. It looked like it said lighty, but it's light duty ultra light shovel. So it pretty much you got like a little shovel here. Uh, you know, once again UST. Uh, it's kind of kind of flimsy, but it is super light material. So we'll have to show this off in a video and give it a try. But still, nice little clip on. Let's go, little carabiner. Oh, that's cool. We got a BCB fishing kit. So inside of it, there is 36 meters of line, a winder, swivels, hooks, weights, and lures. So you got your nice little kit. This would definitely be an EDC kind of thing if you had an EDC bag, uh, or you know, a survival bag. That's a very nice add-in. You can turn a guessing just you know like a stick into a rod with this kind of kit if you have the winder and swivels. So that's cool. Nice little add. -in. It's kind of heavy. There must be a lot in there. All right, next thing. Um, okay, let's read on this, actually. I want to make sure I know what this is. <laughs> it is a survival utility panel. This 2x2 two two foot waterproof utility panel is about to become your new favorite uh, piece of kit. It has countless applications while surviving, camping, hiking, or bugging out. It can be used as a waterproof seat, table covering, Food prep area, floor mat, shelter slash tent entry mat. That's what I'm using it for. Guarantee it. Uh, for sure, boot removal. So there's a couple more things in there about it. But pretty much, this is a survive, you know, like a mat, waterproof. And I guarantee this is going to be shown off in a video. I'll put it inside of my hot tent so when my friends come in, they don't get mud everywhere. They can just walk on here, or even just for me, walk on here and take your boots off. So that will be shown off in a video soon here. Like I said, there's a lot to get through. Okay, so there's an event. They're doing wilderness introduction training survival. It's a little card. And down here, an MAM or an m, &M. Looks like a little pocket knife. This thing's awesome. Look at this thing, guys. So it's a little knife with a fork on it. See the fork? And it's got a little bottle opener on the side. And then there's a knife here. So that's super cool. I think it's MAM Portugal since 1870. And it has a little keychain holder on it. So that's actually very handy. Really. Sorry guys, I had to walk around a second. Uh, I set the knife in here. I don't want to drop it in the snow and then not see it or something. So I think this is the last thing. Yep. And this is the challenge. So this is the tomahawk. Okay. So it comes with this little sack here, and it comes with the blade right here. They got it on here secured so it doesn't slide around and cut stuff. Uh, and there's screws in here, and there's bolts, and it comes with a handle. So the challenge in this box is to make, you know, a little hatchet. So that's super cool. I will have to probably do a video on, like, making these things. You know, let me know if you guys would want that. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm going to make the tray after this video because I could use that instantly right now for the next video in two days. So, yeah, that was for this box. Uh, let me try to find which month this was. Okay, this is the February 2019 box. So, February this year is this box. You can get past boxes. So, super cool. Let's go to the next one. Okay, guys, so here's the next box. Hey, if I get any more of these and I get one or, you know, just I just get one, I'm definitely, I'll just, you know, make a longer video on it but wish I could go a little slower but you know I want to show everything and have the video short so I can't feel my hands but this is the April 2019 blackout 2.0 box so I'm not gonna look in there I don't want to see anything just yet and uh, what do we got here a piece of plastic looks like a like a oh an icing bag when you're doing cake or whatever Cover that. 
the UV pack light. What is it? A reusable, reliable, lightweight, waterproof light. Oh, I've seen these before. These things, I actually, I was going to buy one of these the other month. And it come in this box. So I like, already, I like like the different things they've added in. It's stuff that you don't think, you know, you wouldn't expect to get it. You know, it's that kind of odd stuff that you can use. So this looks like it's part of the challenge. So I'm going to set that there until we find out. That's got to be part of it, I think. And uh, we're going to go our first item item here, though. This is the Outdoor Edge Slide Winder Utility Blade Multi-Tool. So, there that is. If you guys want to know prices or anything, I'll have the link down below. You can go check it out. Whoa, sorry, slide, win slide winder. <laughs> but it looks like a nice little, like, box cutter. And I'm sure that would work for, like, you know, really well for peeling bark or something if you were to make something out of it. But there's a bottle opener and a flathead on it. That's cool. Definitely use it. Uh, here we go. The Creek Stewart's. Now, he's the owner of the company, Creek. <laughs> Uh, pocket field guide. It's urban survival weapons, so I'm not going to go through it, but there you go. A nice little book. I like how what they've given us so far book-wise, they've been super small, so they're packable. Here, it looks like we got some shears. They're not labeled or anything, but we got some heavy-duty shears. These don't want to bend. I don't want to put too much force on them, but they don't want to bend, so there you go. Nice little pair of shears. I can't say I don't have a pair of these. I do not have one, or I can't say I have them. <laughs> That's got to be part of the the challenge. So we'll see that last, but we got some Jolly Ranchers. That's got to be part of the challenge. Something un <laughs> unusual to find a bunch of Jolly Ranchers. So, Jay Hudson and Company Acme Specialist Whistles. So this is the 649 Survival Whistle, and there's a multiple models. Now this is one thing I need, actually. I actually need a good whistle because I have one, but it's one of the cheaper ones from Walmart. <clears throat> There you go. It's one of the cheaper ones from Walmart, but there you go. Nice little whistle. All this stuff will be tested in other videos. You know, this is just kind of an opening, unboxing. But here's the pack light, a UV pack light. Now, I've seen this before. I can explain this uh, from what I've already seen. Pretty much, <clears throat> you can charge this up, especially with a UV light, like I have, or just with light, you know. And then you can hang it in your tent, and I guess it really glows well. It's glow in the dark like little crystals in here and I'm sure that gives off good light and I actually want to buy one of these I don't think they're too cheap either so it's kinda cool it come in this box but it's a pack light you charge it up and you put it in your tent for you know just some ambience light so here we go this is an emergency water storage and solar disinfection bag so this I'm sure if you set it in the sun some will kill off stuff in there I'm not sure exactly how it works but you know, one side you got this, and the other side you have the clear, and then that's the back of it. So if you laid it like this, it would work. So, I'm going to stretch one second. Okay guys, so my legs are stretched. Uh, this must be part of the challenge once again. But here we go. This is the last thing in here, other than the challenge we'll, sh we'll look at in a second. But this looks like a nice little bag here. We'll actually open this really quick. Get a quick look at it. Actually, what we'll do, if you guys can see, we got our little loops in here. I can't remember the exact name the loops are. Nah, I gotta show you. There's no way you can see that. Let's open this up. But it's got little clips on here. And it's nice. I don't know exactly what it is. I know it's like a holder. Let's get the name of it, but you can see there's a pocket in there. There's no sides here like the ends so it's got to be for something unusual um, there's all kinds of pockets on it though and there's loops so let's look at what this is and what this challenge is here because I'm very curious right now so let's check out our project here if you find it um, I'm looking for this first the bag Oh, okay I wasn't thinking that's a visor for in your car so it's the Mully everyday vehicle EDV visor so we got a visor and that holds all kinds I mean I just shown you guys that thing has so many pockets on it so that's cool you know it's kind of like an overkill you know visor but it holds a lot of stuff so why not and uh, it's a Jolly Rancher last ditch 
shiv. So, turning hard candies into a self-defense tool is one of the most impressive displays of survival creativity. <laughs> wow, there's all kinds on it in there. But I'm guessing you melt these and pour them into here, make a blade, and then here is there a... What's in here? Let's check. Hold on. Here it comes. Wait. Oh, these are straws. Okay, guys, so this was actually not part of this this is just for a blade so you can make a blade with jolly ranchers that would be cool but it looks like we got straws here metal straws to drink out of i've never bought any of those actually but hey give it a try yeah it's an indestructible stainless straw set so that's cool that's really cool actually so we'll get to the next box because we're running out of time but yeah see you in the next box okay guys so we're on the last the last box here. Uh, this is the bright red box. I saved it for last because it looks so colorful. But here we go. So this is the welcome box. So this box, I'm pretty sure when you, you know, when you get into the subscription, they will send you this box or you have to pay. I'm not sure. Please check it out. But this is the box that you get sent along with your first month, I'm pretty sure. So... This is Master of the Art of Fire in Creek's most extensive fire training series yet. Enroll now. So Creek has his own, uh, you know, like, treating, not treating, uh, educating system on there. He teaches survival and stuff. So that's cool. I know it's his box, uh, his brand. But here we go. Now this is kind of odd seeing this, if I'm going to be honest. This is really odd seeing something like this in here. Compared to like, you know, the other stuff we've seen. But it's a Gas Monkey Garage 6 LED Flex Light. So it's a light that bends and it comes with this battery. So that's kind of weird. I mean, I'll have to use that in a video. But that is kind of weird, if I'm going to be honest, having it in here. But, I mean, it is a light, so if it works, it works. wonder how it works outside, though, in the cold. We'll have to see. So it's got just a nice push button on it. But... Ooh, it's so cold out guys holy cow wow so this here is oh look at that that's cool we got a little spearhead here you see that camera come on camera we got a spearhead put that on a stick or something and it's got nice little razors there this might be like the challenge I'm not sure we'll have to see Oh, look at that. That's super cool. I know exactly what this is. It's a bait snare. I've made these before. But it's a kit on how to make one. And it comes with wood. It looks like it comes with wood for you to carve. And it comes with wood that's already carved. So you can try it and then make it. But that must be it. So there you go. A bait snare. Has everything you need. Sticks and string. So that's super cool. Very cool challenge. I will have to do a video on that. Obviously, I can't leave it set because it's illegal here in PA, but that's a very cool thing to set up so you know how to make it. So, this is a book of notes from the back 14. That's for you to put in there. Once again, I like how they're keeping these books and whatever it may be small so they can fit in a bag. Uh, next up, we have the Pocket Field Guide, Survival Tarp Shelters. Very, it's got a nice hard cover here. And once again, very small, very packable. So I, I do like how they've been doing that. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. Mom and Dad yelled for me. But this is a can opener. Now, this is like what they had in the war, I'm pretty sure, because I have one for my grandpa. But it's a can opener, a nice packable one. Actually, I need this very badly because I'm sick of taking like the dollar cheap plastic can opener because it always breaks or I drop it or it's just kind of clunky to take too. So I've actually seen this multiple times and I haven't bought it yet, but it's good I got it because hey, uh, it's a fire starting learn and live kit. So there you go, it's UST once again, the brand you find at Walmart. I have a case like this from them. It's actually pretty durable, not going to lie. Uh, it comes with uh, a starter, cards, and little wicks that you can start a fire with. So, there you go. Very cool. 
And the cards, by the way, it teaches you how to start a fire. So that's cool. Oh, next up we have a patch. I haven't seen this yet. Get into the woods, a pocket box. So we got a little patch here. <laughs> it's kind of cool they added a patch into their own. And what do we got here? We got a little bag, survival bag. Let's cut this open so we can see what's in here. Well, obviously there's nothing in it, but I want to see the pockets and stuff, see what it can hold. So let's open it up. It's just a nice bright blue. If you drop it in the grass or something, you're going to see it. Not sure exactly what brand that is, but it's got a little scratches there. But it's got this here. The patch will sit on there, just like that. So if you got patches, you can put them there. I have some. I don't have anything to put patches on, but now I do. But it's got little loops for carabiners, everything like that. Let's check the inside real quick. Okay, so it's actually got quite a bit of room in there. All kinds of pockets. It's got strings, so this bag doesn't open too far. But there you go. It's actually pretty, pretty thick, too. It's got to be good material. So, sorry about that, guys. I had to warm my hands up. I, could, I, I know I stopped right at my tracks, but I had to warm my hands up. And I'll be darned, what do we got in here? In this nice sack, actually, you could put all kinds of stuff in there. It's like some kind of cloth. But we have a Mora knife. These things are awesome. I got one sent to me in fan mail, and I love it. It's just perfect for everything. It's like this one solid piece is what it feels like. And it's got its nice clip on the end. This thing's great. I have one of these. But it's always nice to have another one. I know a lot of people I've seen actually have a whole collection of these. But this knife, guys, you can trust me on it. It is a very nice knife to just have around. You can pick it up, throw it in your pocket, and it does not want to come out of here well, and that is good. Uh, I found that to be the best case I've had for a knife. You know, it doesn't want to come out. So, more a knife, that thing is awesome to end off this video. That thing is really awesome. Very good knife. <laughs> very good. So, I'm really happy with these boxes. I'm gonna have my hands in my pockets for a second. But I'm super happy with these boxes. They have, you know, things like, take for example, the trips in here that you can make. Very cool stuff. Like, you don't really see this stuff often when you get survival boxes. I think this is the only one that really does something like that. So the fact that you get a box with unique stuff that you're going to use, and at the same time you get something to build is super cool. So if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, super cool when I can't feel my hands or anything, but if you guys want to check it out, link is down below. I'll drop it down there. And uh, yeah, I got to get in the house. It's super cold, but I'm very surprised at the boxes. Uh, they're very unique, and I mean, every other month, or every month, I think it's every other month they do them. Sometimes I think it's been uh, two months in a row. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's super cool. So if you guys want to look it up, check it out, link below. And uh, yeah, I'll be using all this stuff.